I think first and foremost, the thing that it's going to allow us to do is improve people's lives because our waiting lists here are really long. Yeah. Within a year of being in Kamloops, I had to close down my, new pra my practice to new non-urgent referrals because people have wait been waiting over four years to get in to see me and close to two years for surgery at that time. The waiting times have come down a little bit, but people put their lives on hold for surgery. They may be in pain, they're worried about what's going on, they take time off of work, they have people look after their children, they get rides to the hospital, and often the surgery gets delayed or bumped, and, and, and that's been one of the biggest challenges is, is just the lack of access to the operating room. So if we can run more operating rooms, we can ensure that people get timely access to the care that they need. I think that's the first and foremost the, the biggest. Uh, one of the, the second reasons where it's going to be helpful is when we have patients who are sick and they may be deteriorating on the waiting list, um, the surgeons end up taking their own time and doing their operations on the urgent list, either nighttime or on the weekends. And that's not optimal. People are tired. You don't have the usual crew, but sometimes it needs to be done. The third area where I think it's really important is recruiting new surgeons to the Royal Inland Hospital. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like ice time for a hockey player. You know, if you have talented people, they don't mind coming to a smaller market team if they're going to get ice time and leadership abilities, but here if we can't offer them operating time, there's, there's no way we can attract them to Kamloops. And my goal is to attract a lot of talent to Kamloops and grow the surgical program here over the next few years.